I'm Sue McMahon and I'm cookery editor at Woman's Weekly magazine and I'm going to show you how to make a chilled white chocolate and raspberry cheesecake. So the first thing to do is to prepare the base. So I've got 150 grams of chocolate digestive biscuits. They're plain chocolate digestives. And I've put them into the food processor and I'm going to whiz them until they're finely ground. So once they look like fine breadcrumbs, I'm going to add 60 grams of melted butter. And then mixing this in well, and I'm going to tip this into the base of a 20 centimetre lined cake tin. It's a loose bottomed cake tin to make sure that it's easy to get the cheesecake out of it once the cheesecake is set. And I'm spreading this out so it will cover the bottom evenly. If you're unsure about how to line a cake tin, there is a video on the Good To Know website showing how to line a round cake tin. So once it's pressed firmly down, I'm going to chill that while I prepare the topping. So to make the topping, the first thing I'm going to do is to melt the chocolate. So I've got a 200 gram bar of white chocolate that I've broken into pieces and put in a bowl and I'm going to melt this in the microwave. The next thing is that I have in the jug two tablespoons of cold water and I'm going to sprinkle over this two teaspoons of powdered gelatin. So the water should absorb the gelatin and I'm just going to let that soak while the chocolate melts and then I'll melt this too. So once the white chocolate has melted and is nice and smooth, you now need to melt the gelatine, which will be all spongy to look at as it's absorbed all the water. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. But I'm going to keep checking it regularly because it's important when you're melting gelatine that the mixture doesn't boil because otherwise it may lose some of its setting powers. So once the gelatine gets hot, just stir it until the last few crystals dissolve. So that's completely liquid now. So what I'm going to do is I've got 300 grams of cream cheese and I'm going to warm this very slightly in the microwave. I don't want it to melt but I just want to take the chill off it. Otherwise when I add the gelatine that will be so cold the gelatine would set immediately and it could go rubbery in the cheesecake. So I'm just going to put this in the microwave for about 15 or 20 seconds. And then I'm going to beat it so it's smooth. Now I'm going to pour in the gelatine and mix it well. I'm also going to add a 200 ml carton of creme fraiche. and 60 grams of caster sugar. And I'm going to mix it together with a stick blender. So once that's nice and smooth, I can then add the white chocolate. And then mix that in well. Once the base has chilled, it should be nice and firm, so I'm going to add a punnet of raspberries, so between 170 and 250 grams of raspberries. So once I've got the raspberries in place, I'm going to pour over the cheesy topping. 
and I'm going to level it out but taking care that I don't push the raspberries around too much underneath. And then once the top is fairly level, that's ready to go in the fridge. And that needs to be chilled now for at least four hours or overnight until it firms up. So once the cheesecake has chilled well, it should be just firm to the touch. So you can then take it out of the tin. And then slide it onto the serving plate. And then to peel the paper away, I put the knife there and pull the paper back against it. And there's also the piece of lining paper underneath it. And then I'm going to dust a little bit of cocoa over the top. So that's the finished white chocolate and raspberry cheesecake.